What's up everyone? So today we are going to do the anesthesia machine checklist. Now for a wholesome approach it has to be M S mates. M for machines, S for suction, M for monitoring, A for airway equipment, I for IV lines, D for drugs and S for special equipments. But today in this video we are just going to focus on the anesthesia machine checklist. In order to logically understand the anesthesia machine checklist, you need to have the basic understanding and working principles of the machine and various components. Now you need to remember the basic map of anesthesia machine right here which we discussed in the starting episodes of this chapter. I am going to keep dropping a link on the top right corner for various concepts. Let's begin then. Step 1. The backup plan. Do you have any backup plan in case the anesthesia machine malfunctions? Now remember for anesthetist the main thing is preventing hypoxia, right? So if the machine malfunctions, I have got right there behind me the auxiliary oxygen cylinder and the ambu bag. Step 2 is the high pressure zone and the high pressure zone and intermediate zone contain the pipelines and the oxygen cylinder. So check on the pipelines if they are fixed properly and in front of the machine you can see the pipeline pressure readings of at least 55 psig. Next up check the pressures in gas cylinders especially oxygen. On opening the cylinder the reading is visible on the front panel of anesthesia machine. You can see here oxygen cylinder pressure is around 1600 psig. Remember to close the oxygen cylinder because some machines are pneumatically driven. So if the pipeline pressure falls then you might not be knowing and the machine might be using the oxygen cylinder, right? So in terms of emergency when you are going to turn on the oxygen cylinder it might be depleted, right? So the minimum of 1000 psig must be available at all times. Now from the previous episode on low pressure zone of anesthesia machine we know that the low pressure zone begins from flow meters, includes flow meters, it includes the vaporizers all the way out to the common gas outlet, right? So make sure that the gases are off at the moment and the vaporizers are turned off. Check the fill levels and tighten the filler cap. Next we are going to detect any possible leak in the system. Why? Because leaks are most common in the low pressure zone. They might be due to breakage in the flow meters or the filler cap might not be tightly screwed. In order to check on the leak in the low pressure zone, I have devised this small suction bulb right from the blood pressure cuff. But you can also contact your manufacturer for this purpose, right? So in the next video, I am going to show you how to make your own suction bulb. So now connecting the connector to the common gas outlet and switching on from circle system to the fresh gas outlet port. Now the machine is off at the moment, the flow meters are off, the vaporizer is off. Now if there is any leak in the system then the negative pressure generated by this suction bulb would drive the ambient air from the breakage point into the circuit and it would inflate the bulb, right? But if there is no leakage, the bulb would stay deflated for 10 seconds. So let's see. Now I am going to deflate it, squeeze it many times till it's fully deflated, and see for the next 10 seconds it has not reinflated. So this is quite a sensitive test, and it can detect even a leak of 30 ml per hour, right? Next up, I am going to. Next up, I am going to turn on one vaporizer and squeeze the bulb again till it is fully deflated and I am going to see for 10 seconds if it reinflates. It has not reinflated, so there is no leak in this vaporizer. Repeat this process for the other vaporizer as well, right? Make sure that at the end of this test, you switch the circuit back to circle system, right? Once you have performed the leak test, turn on the machine, check on the gas flows through the whole spectrum of flow meters, right? Different gases, especially oxygen, right? 
Now also check on the working of the rotor meter and make sure the bobbin is rotating properly fine not sticking in the top tube right. Next we are going to attempt to create a hypoxic mixture just to test the sensitive oxygen nitrous oxide ratio controller right. So I am going to turn oxygen on at 1 liters and I am going to increase nitrous oxide to the maximum. Now you can see that the nitrous oxide is not increasing beyond 3 liters. So 1 ratio 3 or greater than 25 percent fraction of oxygen is properly maintained right. So turning off the nitrous oxide. Now the scavenging system attached to this machine is open active system. You can see these ports through which the ambient air can be entrained in terms if negative pressure builds up and if excessive positive pressure builds up the air can be moved out through these ports right. So this is open ended scavenging system but at the same time the hospital waste gas management vacuum line is also present here. So this is active open scavenging system make sure that the connections are properly fitted right. So this is 30 mm connector which is different from the 22 mm connector of the breathing circuits. Now during the working this bobbin needs to be placed within this these two lines right. To test on the scavenger system we will turn the anesthesia machine to manual mode. We will ensure that all connections are off right and we are going to open the APL valve fully and occlude the Y piece. We are going to wait for the scavenger bag to collapse and we are going to make sure that the pressure gauge reads between 0 to maximum minus 0.5 uh, pressures right. It should not exceed more because that would mean the same negative pressure can be transferred to the patient's lungs right. So you do not want that. Next we are going to check on the positive pressure relief mechanism of scavenging system because in terms of obstruction in cases of obstruction you do not want the positive pressure to be transmitted to the patient as well right. So we are going to keep the Y piece occluded and we are going to turn on the oxygen flush and make sure that the pressure gauge does not read beyond 10 centimeters of water pressure right step in anesthesia machine is the breathing circuits and again it starts with the oxygen. So all the oxygen sensors are upstream of the flow meters. Beyond this stage the main oxygen sensor is located at the inspiratory limb the oxygen sensor. So in order to calibrate the oxygen sensor we are going to first detach it from the inspiratory limb by counterclockwise rotation right and place it here. Now we are going to calibrate the oxygen sensor to start oxygen calibration press the rotary knob. Now it is checking. So oxygen sensor calibration is complete now reinsert the oxygen sensor. Another way is simply removing the oxygen sensor the sensor reading of oxygen fraction reduces to room air 21 percent. On reattaching the sensor to inspiratory limb and pressing on oxygen flush, the sensor should read oxygen fraction of more than 90 percent. Next I am checking on the breathing circuit for any detachments which are pretty common. Also check the color of CO2 absorbent and check the date of last refill. In order to perform the leak test in the breathing circuit, I am going to first completely occlude the APL valve and the Y piece. I will make sure that the oxygen flows and other gases flows are 0 right. And at this stage I am going to press on the oxygen flush till the circuit pressure increases to around 30. Now this pressure needs to be maintained 
for more than 10 seconds at 30 right so the pressure is well maintained at 30 for more than 10 seconds and now I am going to gradually open the APL valve and the pressure is gradually decreasing right until at full open the pressure is zero so this is essentially how the leak test through the breathing circuit can be checked now another way to detect APL integrity and its ability to maintain pressure within the circuit what I will do is I am going to occlude the Y piece I am going to increase the oxygen flow to 5 liters per minute and I am going to close the APL valve to 30 centimeters of water now you can see the pressure gauge reading starting to increase all the way up to 30 centimeters and if it maintains this pressure for more than 10 seconds so this is another way to check on the APL valve right so now opening the APL valve and the pressure decreases so next up we are going to check on the flows through the breathing circuit we're going to check for the compliance system the resistance of the circuit right so in order to do that I'm going to attach the ambu bag to the patient end of the circuit I'm going to press on the volume control mode set certain parameters right now the oxygen is set at zero and I'm going to shift the machine to automatic mode right and fill in with the oxygen through oxygen flush right so once that is done with the oxygen flush on now I'm just checking on the parameters and I'm just checking on the appropriate tidal volume being generated right also I need to check on the unidirectional inspiratory valve and the expiratory valve now both are working fine right checking on the bellows I am going to turn the oxygen to 5 liters and check if there is any issue with the end expiratory pressures everything seems fine right now shifting to the manual mode I am just gonna check on the compliance and the resistance to the circuits so everything seems fine right next step it's the monitors the capnograph ecg and vital signs monitoring system and also set the alarm limits for various parameters like pressure minute volume attempt to create high and low pressures during automatic ventilation checking to see if the alarms are working fine gently squeeze the test lung to artificially create high pressures like this and now alarm is ringing and monitor is reading high airway pressures to detect low threshold of pressure alarms detach the test lung and the machine is now reading it as apnea pressure final status of the machine after the check should be flow meters off, vaporizers off, machine set to bag mode, APL valve open, suction adequate, and breathing circuit ready to use. This is all for today. See you next time.